Yesterday, we've seen fear in the markets the first time for a long time. Will that help us to resume to up only conditions? We will analyze that in this video. And of course, there's a lot more data we will look at. For example, the net Bitcoin ETF flows, it's telling us a lot of things. We'll have a look at what crypto does in the summertime, usually, and what is happening to SUI right now. If you want to know, stick till the end. Let's go. And with that, welcome to another episode of Phil Prince, your one and only stop for crypto finance and trading. We've actually seen fear in the markets again, which means a score of 43. Today we have 48, which is neutral. But if we have a look at the chart over time, we can see that this is actually pretty special as this is the lowest reading since January this year. And a comparable score was in October 2023. So we're slowly seeing the greed coming out of market participants. And for a sustained uptrend, that is extremely healthy. So I hope none of you is getting fear because that is not necessary in my opinion. Because we shouldn't forget market is going up for a pretty long time now. Bear market bottom, December 2022, January 2023. Then this first uptrend and then the parabolic uptrend started in October 2023. And this alone is more than 200 days now without any significant downturn. The only downturn we've had is this post ETF dump, which was around 20%. And even before that, not more than 20% here and here as well. This one too. And at the moment, we're actually also at around minus 20%. But before we have a look, if it's likely that this is a local bottom and this fear we're seeing is enough for that, let's take a look at the net Bitcoin ETF flows because this has proven as very important this cycle. This whole uptrend seems to be backed by the Bitcoin ETFs mostly and not yet retail money flowing into crypto apart from meme coins and you can see that right here most of the UTF inflows started out in end of January and this was a steady uptrend until March 13th 14th and if we mark that in the chart you can see that this is right here and right here so basically the most parabolic part of this cycle yet is this pre ETF phase basically buy the rumor, then this sell the news, and then an even more parabolic move while the ETFs had their inflows. And just as the inflows stopped, we've seen this local top. And we're pretty much going sideways a little down since. And this is the same for the Bitcoin ETF net inflows. But it gets even more interesting. As you can see here, on May 1st, we've had the biggest bar to the downside since the inception of the Bitcoin ETF. And this comes mostly from Grayscale, which shouldn't come as a surprise. Grayscale has been there for a pretty long time and they've converted to a Bitcoin spot ETF as the others, for example, the iBit by BlackRock has been released. And from time to time, they are selling off Bitcoin. And this, of course, acts as a selling pressure. So that means one of the factors that will decide if Bitcoin goes down further is if we see ongoing sell-offs by Bitcoin ETFs, specifically Grayscale. Also, I think it's pretty funny that this is on May 1st here, because the saying goes, sell in May and go away, but remember to come back in September. It's like Grayscale wants this prophecy to fulfill. Speaking of sell in May, I have an interesting chart to show you. So this is Bitcoin and the last 10 summer period. And it's super interesting to see the summer basically had the same pattern over and over again. Basically a pump and dump structure or a BART pattern. So most of the time we went sideways, up and then reversed the whole move. So in the end making for a sideways range and after that a parabolic advancement began. Sometimes the pump was immediate, sometimes it took some time, and it actually didn't matter if we were in a bull market or in a bear market or even at a local top, as we can see here in the Echo Bubble 2019. The only time this was reversed was in 2021. There we went down and then up. Now if we take in a little more data, and that is the halving, we can see something very interesting and very bullish actually. So this summer period here in 2020, this was exactly 
the having here. Then we went sideways, up, down, and then the parabolic advancement of the 2020, 2021 bull market started. Something similar in 2016. There we had another having. This time exactly at this local top here. So after the having and during the summer period, we went down first, reversed the May bounce, and then the parabolic advancement for this bull market started. Now, May just started out. We've had our having. Will the parabolic advancement of this bull market start in July, August, September? Well, at least that's what this data suggests. So no need to have fear. Of course, for a well-rounded analysis, we have to look at the bullish and the bearish factors and then weigh out the probabilities. Now, I've told you at the moment we're seeing Bitcoin ETF outflows, which increases selling pressure and therefore is a little bearish. Another thing that is a little bearish is, as you can see, we've had our halving here on April 20th. And as you should know, this cuts in half the block rewards that miners receive. So they're now making half the money than before for the same work. And in order to stay profitable, they have to become more efficient. So I think it's not too far fetched that they could sell off some of the Bitcoin to buy new gear and make their mining rigs, their mining facilities more efficient. I mean, these are big companies, so we might have sell pressure for miners as well. Now, from a perspective of technical analysis, I have good and I have bad news. The first thing is we are pumping, but as you can see here, this is a significant support and resistance level. If we cannot reclaim it and we actually are retesting it as resistance, then the likelihood increases that we go down further. The good news is, as you can see here, we bounced off my indicator, the Phil Prince reversal bands. And in the past, this has been a very, very solid indication for a local bottom. So as you can see here, every time we went near it, or inside it, we found a local bottom every single time. And as I've shown you, we're actually bouncing already, but this doesn't mean we can't go down further. As you can see here, I have two bands in my field prints reversal bands for bigger sized moves. And if I bring on one of my other important indicators, you can see that this gold moving average is basically in the middle of these bands around the $50,000 mark, which is also an important level as it's the golden ratio of this move 0.618 as you can see here. So basically this area is where Bitcoin could reverse into if in fact this turns out to be a bearish retest and we could maybe see a little wick here like we've seen here, but that's everything that's to it. So at the lowest end, maybe 45,000 with a wick. And you can imagine if this here is fear, then this is panic. And panic is the best time to scoop up more, especially altcoins. If you're subscribed to this channel, you know in prior videos, I showed you in depth how close the alt season is, and that is crucial to not be shaken out before it. Also, more than two weeks ago, while we were in the mid of this sideways range here, I've told you we could go down to 50k. The greed that has accumulated here, the meme coin mania, these are first signs that a cooldown is needed. And this is exactly what we're seeing right now. So it's good for the market and it's good for you because you can scoop up some cheap altcoins. Many altcoins are down minus 50, minus 60% from their all-time highs. This is still a fire sale. Speaking of altcoins, we should have a look at Sui. But before that, don't forget to join the Phil Prince community. I have actually made it for free because I want to set my community ahead. You will get access to one of my trading indicators that you've just seen on the chart. A one hour trading course that explains it in depth, everything you have to know, and actually how to build your own strategy with it for investing and for trading. And not just crypto, but also stocks, commodities, forex, every financial instrument that you want to use it on. And of course, there is an uplifting Telegram community to discuss everything crypto. Make sure to secure your spot while it's free. This may change for new members in the future. Link is down below. All right, back to Sui. As you can see here, and we've talked about this in my Sui review some months ago, there is this big step here in the vesting schedule. And that means that a bigger amount of tokens will be unlocked from the allocation. More specifically, we are looking at 34% of the current market cap unlocked in one day on May 3rd, today, the time of recording. And these are, among others, funds from early contributors and investors. So people that had the opportunity to buy very early at a very cheap price. And it wouldn't be something out of the ordinary 
if they are selling off some of their tokens to realize some of the gains. So this could mean further selling pressure. And as you can see here, as most of the altcoins, Sui is in a downtrend on the four hour chart. So do we have to go down? Well, not really. Don't get me wrong, we could, but we don't have to. And to prove that to you, I will show you the Solana vesting schedule right there. As you can see here, we had an even bigger unlock in one day, actually more than 60% of the supply back then. So this was in December 2020 and well in December 2020 Solana found a bottom. So it was a textbook sell the rumor by the news event. By the way and I don't want to brag but as you can see here the Flipprints reversal bands catched every bottom of Solana on the daily chart beautifully. It's actually crazy. Of course in the bear market it went a little lower but as you can see here the bottom of January 2023 as well. And it just goes on and on. But back to Sui. I hope it became clear, but I will say it again. Don't sell your Sui here because of these unlocks. This might be a bottom. If we in fact go down lower, which is possible, then use these prices to scoop up more. This would pretty much be a gift. Use it, scale in, buy some more. I'm gonna be really honest with you. Sui is one of my most favorite altcoins at the moment and I'm not affiliated with them. I say it because I mean it. If you ask yourself how low we could go, I think we could fill this wick or maybe go down below to catch some liquidity. So between 80 and 90 cents. This would also be the lower band of my Philprints reversal bands. So this is nice spot i think if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please ask yourself why and do it now you really don't want to miss any of the next videos this was for prince for you until next time crush the markets goodbye